attack on the blind side. And so we often quote the scripture, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 says, Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. And then we stop right there. But the next verse says that he has revealed to, the, to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? And so even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. And so the benefit of dwelling in the secret place of the most high God is that he shares with us what is on his mind. He gives us the information and the knowledge that we need in order to make sound decisions. God protects our blind side and he gives us insight in areas that we ourselves would have overlooked with the natural eye. Amen. The next line of verse uh, of, of Psalm 91, verse 1, the next line says, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The word abide means to accept or act in accordance with. He says, if you live in me, then you will abide under my shadow. So when we talk about a shadow, a shadow is only created when the flow or rays of, of light is obstructed. Mom, can you hit the lights for me? <coughs> is there a way I can get these kind of lights out? If I shine light in an area where there's no object, then it creates no shadow. I didn't prep you this morning, I'm sorry. Yeah. I want you to understand the revelation that God gave me. That he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall rest and abide under the shadow. I'm going to put the light here so you guys can see. There's no shadow simply because there's no object to creating a shadow. But if you stand in front of this light, you see my husband's shadow. Minister Jeff, can you hold this for me? The Bible says, I want you to understand authority. The Bible says that if I dwell in God, then I'm now under his jurisdiction. That means anything that does not have the legal authority to touch me yes. while I'm underneath and dwelling in the most high, it cannot touch me. I am under the jurisdiction of God. And so God said, if you live in me, then you're under my jurisdiction. And a lot of people don't understand this. I understand we're flesh and we're human. And so when things happen, it shakes us a little bit. But you have to understand have you considered my servant Job? He could not be touched because he was under the hedge and the jurisdiction of the Most High God. And so God said, if you dwell in me, if you live in me, then you're subject to stand underneath my protection. Anytime you find yourself standing in the shadow of the Most High God, my husband represents God. The light on the other side of him represents opposition. Anything trying to get to me, it has to go through him first. And so he said, if you live in me, thank you. If you live in me, if you move in me. Let me tell you something. Before I could preach the word, I had to get it first. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want y'all to feel like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing shade at anybody. Yeah. He's calling me first Amen. to a place of uninterrupted fellowship God, with him. To a place of consistency in my prayer life. Yeah. That is what he told me when I came and I laid prostrate. He said your year went the way that it went because you did not dwell in the secret place. There were many times where I wanted to respond in my flesh. I wanted to Last year. Yeah. Oh, he said, I often 
time was defeated because I was too busy trying to be seen. I wanted you to be hidden in me, but I was too busy trying to be seen. And I was too busy trying to prove a point that you can't handle me like that. You can't talk to me like that. I'm from PG County. I still got a little bit of savage man on the inside of me. And God said, that attitude caused you to be defeated because you would not rest in my shadow. So if you ever find yourself in a place where I had to ask God, I said, I don't, I don't understand. You ever been hit so much, you ain't even know where the hits was coming from. It's like. When me and my husband, we we good, we going out on a date, boom, something else to happen. And I'm yeah. like, well, we just we just got over this. We just recovered from that. Yeah. God hit some. I said, God, I will not start my new year off the way my old year ended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I came in the house of God, He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place. I'm going to have to get my own cut of the key. I can't keep asking him for his key. Yeah. I don't even live in Cambridge. But I'm willing to drive 30 minutes every week if I have to to shut myself in here. Because I will not keep recovering from attacks that I should have been preparing for. That's right. Oh my God. So understand what we do here in the sanctuary. This is public. Yeah. I could dance and shout all day for y'all. Yeah. And y'all could think that I have this elaborate right. relationship with God. And I can go home and not say a word to God until the following Sunday That's comes right. around. Help us. God is looking for what you do in secret. Devotion that he's looking for. He said, I am a rewarder of them that diligently seek after me. All this that we're doing here, the Facebook posts and statuses, that don't mean nothing to God. I took a month off in December, no Facebook, because I was tired of what I was seeing and it was getting into my spirit. I said, God, I had enough. This is my year of confrontation. But I confronted me first. Before I crossed over into the new year, I took a month to confront me. And so this is the year I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to call out every demonic spirit that I see, every spirit that tries to assign itself to me. I'm, going, I'm telling you now, I'm calling you out by name. This is my year of confrontation. So if I see backbiting, I'm going to call it out. If I'm operating in rebellion, I'm going to call out the spirit of witchcraft. I'm going to call out every demon. And so I wanted you, God rather wants us. I, I can't do this this year. I, I just can't. I can't have a repeat of the past two years. I can't. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. And so whatever we did last year, it's not enough. I'm going to just tell you now. It ain't going to be enough to sustain you in 2019. It wasn't enough. And so he's calling us higher. He's not looking for visitation rights. He's saying, I want you to live here. I want you to dwell here. Not every now and then. Not when you get in trouble. Why? Because the visitation caused us to miss knowledge and information that we needed to sustain us through the attack. Do you not know that God tried to tell us? There were moments that he wanted to warn us, but we were too busy being carnal. Too big. I'm, gonna talk, I'm talking about me. I, 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 I be wanting to be so petty. Oh, I be wanting to be petty. I be wanting to be the petty. I want to be the pettiest person, but I can't. Calls me too much. Yeah. I'm like, God, you just gonna let them hit me like that, and I can't. Oh. Oh, God. You ever start to 
Opposition or opposite side of where that light is shining. So Minister Jeff would have took the flashlight and stood from this angle, then the shadow would have simply fell behind my husband, the opposite side. If you are not in the shadow of God, then you can't possibly be behind God. And if you're not behind God, then you're in front of God. And if you're in front of God, then He's not leading. Yeah. Mm. He's not leading. I'm tired of making moves. And then I got to go back and ask God to bless the move that I made. Yeah. Why? If he told you to make the move in the first place, then his approval is on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you got to go and you got to work and you got to toil yeah. to later turn around and ask God to bless or approve, what you've already done, you're out of order. And you have placed yourself in a position and a posture to fall prey to the hands of the enemy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Toya, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. A thousand may fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come now your dwelling. Right. You have the power and the authority to bring whoever under the secret place with you. I cover my husband under the secret place of the Most High God. My children rest under the umbrella of the secret place of the Most High God. We gotta do it different this year. Yes. Myself first. My prayer life is not where it should be. It ain't nowhere near where it need to be. I should be further along by yeah. now. But life, it's gonna happen to all of us. Schedule's gonna get messed up. Schedule's gonna get interrupted, but you gotta make a conscious decision that you're not gonna try to fit God in. No, if I got to organize my life around yeah. God, yeah. that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. If I got to lose sleep, get up a little bit earlier, stay up a little bit later, don't eat on your lunch break. I don't know, but you gotta get God by anything necessary. I'm finished. I want to make the altar call. And, and let me tell you something. If I wasn't holding the mic, 